Taurus, this reading will be for you. I hope you all are doing amazing. This will be a general collective reading and it will not resonate with all of you. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. But if you have birth chart placements in Taurus or you are dealing with someone that does, this reading can resonate with you. Please take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. Private reading information can be found in the um, comment section. If you're interested in purchasing some authentic gemstone jewelry and, jewelry and also helping to save the sea otters, you can find information about that in the description box as well as the coupon code. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok for more collective readings. All right, so let's see what's going on. Let's do an energy update. <sighs> All right. We have Ace of Wands. We have the Five of Cups. We have the Two of Swords. We have the Ten of Cups. Clarify the Ace of Wands. We have the Justice card, Libra Energy. Clarify the Five of Cups, the Four of Cups. Clarify the Two of Swords, the World. Mm. Clarify the Ten of Cups. We have the Seven of Pentacles. Hmm. And we have the Page of Pentacles on the back of the deck. The Hmm. Somebody is waiting for something to be over before. Let's see. What is this? Hmm. The Ace of Wands. The Justice card. Hmm. Regret. Somebody is having like this renewed. Somebody is now. It's like they're having like this renewed energy. Like, um motivation or renewed uh spark whatever whatever you want to call it to i feel like bring balance or to a situation or make something right here somebody's in regret i don't know if like somebody had the opportunity to, to make something right right in the past and they did it all right or it's like somebody i don't know if somebody ignored you somebody feels that they missed an opportunity to do something and now they're in regret about it it's like they feel like they could have done something to make something right in the past and they didn't It's like, I don't know if somebody's like confused about whether or not let's like, they're like, I don't know if like the, that window of opportunity is gone now. Can I still fix something? It's like, it's kind of like that energy to me or it's like, it's like all of a sudden somebody's like, actually, I feel like I want to make something right now. But it's almost like they're not sure if that's like something that's just like, has that chapter closed now? They're definitely in regret. What's with the um, Ten of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles? The Yeah, the Page of Cups. Yeah, somebody just like wanting to make amends or fix something. The devil. Okay, the, the Hanged Man. I don't know if you guys have walked away from somebody and it's, it's, give, it's changed their perspective now. What's the Chariot? Cancer Energy, the Four. I just, I don't know. I feel like you've walked away from somebody, but they're wanting to hold on to you. What's the seven of pentacles though? The moon, the high priestess. Mm -mm. The, mm. What does this have to do with you? The 10 of wands, the 10 of pentacles and the six of cups. See, the thing is, too, is like whoever this person is, is like they were hiding things from you or, or and this is possibly why you guys, guys walked away from this person and why you're releasing them and you're moving forward. Are they still hold, what is the current situation? Strength. The six of wands, the ace of cups. You guys are focused on cultivating something new here, it looks like. New love, 
a new creative project, something new. And it looks like it's successful or you're just doing very well for yourselves at this time. Okay. Somebody is like trying to hold on to you though. Or that's their intent is to try to keep you from moving on or try to hold on to you. But I feel like that's you're focused on cultivating something new here. Tommy, um, let's what's Taurus's energy spirit? What is Taurus's energy? Why are these? Oh, am I shuffling wrong here? What's happening? Okay, I'm just you know shuffling the cards the wrong way. Hold on. <sighs> let's see. What is Taurus's energy when it comes to this situation? More of Taurus energy. So we do have the Page of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, the Three. Mm. See, I feel like um, working on what, waiting. It's like, then I say at the beginning of this reading, it's like this person is waiting for something else to come to an end. It's like this person has like strung you along or it's like they keep expecting you to wait on them for something else to come to an end or so, wait, wait on this happily ever after. Like they keep selling you a dream or something, guys. It's like they keep trying to make you feel like you guys can have something like you guys can be happy one day you guys can be a family you guys but it's like this person has another situation or something like what is this person and it's like they're not being completely honest with you about it what is this person waiting on spirit seven of wands some okay Working on what? The death card. The wheel of, what, yeah, what is that? They're in some type of other situation where it's very stressful and I feel like I honestly don't feel like guys this person is really taking any action to end that situation it's almost like I don't feel like they're taking any practical steps to change that situation with the with the wheel of fortune coming out it's almost like they're just kind of leaving it hoping that the divine like some some type of miraculous happening happens and it's like they're just hoping that one day things just change it's like they're not really doing anything to they're definitely involved with another feminine energy it looks like it could be a pisces cancer or a scorpio they're in a very stressful situation um what is the nature of that situation what, ten of wands i don't know they're very burdened by it okay they could feel like they have a lot of risk. yeah queen of swords what about the star the death card what about the death what, what is the nature of that situation the six of pentacles They definitely have a choice between you and somebody else. What is going on between them and this third party? They have some type of decision that they need to make between you and this other person. And with the Knight of Pentacles, they're, I don't know. They're moving very slow. With the Judgment and the Knight of Pentacles and the King of Swords 
and the Hermit. It's like they've been thinking about this for a very long time. And with the Knight of Pentacles, they're, they're moving very slowly to make this decision. I with the, And with this Knight of Wands and this Queen of Cups energy and this High Priestess energy, they're cheating on this person. Whoever this person is, they're cheating on somebody with you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest with you. Or it's like either that person is cheating. They're cheating on each other or that person's cheating on them. It's it's something messy going on, guys. It's like you're you're like, you know, and I'm not saying this in an offensive way, but it's like you're like the mistress or you're like the side person or something like that. It, it definitely looks like something like that's going on. Okay. Why are they not taking, why are they not actively trying to leave this situation if they're not happy? Why are they not actively trying to leave the situation? The Eight of Wands, the Four of Swords. The Four of Wands, the Two of Wands, the Chariot. So are they? See, and then the Four, it's like, I feel like they, they will take some action and then they stop and then they'll take some action and then they stop. I feel like this person is very comfortable. Seven of Wands. Six of Swords. Eight of Pentacles. It's like, I just see very start stop energy. And then we have the five, five of Wands here. So I definitely feel like there's people, there's conflict, there's interference. I feel like there's people, there's, there's people, there's possibly people around them that aren't making this easy for them either. Okay. <laughs> There's, there's definitely interference here, but it's like, I kind of just, they're like hoping that the universe, like they're, they're, there's a miracle. I just, I don't know. I feel like they will try. I, I, I feel like there's some effort and then they, they give up guys. It's like, they, they don't push through. They don't, they, they, they stop. Does that make sense? So I don't know guys, I don't know about this person. I don't, I don't know. I, I, do, I do feel like they try and then they give up. Okay, that's what I will say. This person is not very determined. I feel like this person lacks ambition. So I feel like this right now, it's like, or this person's about to get that little bit of ambition that they get to want to like try to push through. It's like, they, it, but are they going to keep pushing through? You know what I mean? It's like, what makes this person give up? That's what, what, what makes them give up, spirit? The Knight of Wands. So... And the sun, Leo energy. This person could be very like um, emotional instability. The sun, what is this? The judgment card. The nine of swords, yeah. It's like they start getting like, they could be a little bit emotionally, un for some of you, I'm gonna be honest, for some of you, They could be a little bit mentally unstable. I'm gonna be honest with that. Emotionally unstable, their emotions, they could be a little bit, um, yeah, the emperor, the king of pentacles. They could be an earth sign for another earth sign for some of you, the fool. Yeah, for some of you, they just kind of like their emotions swing back and forth. They, for some of you, they literally have mental health issues. Like, it's just no other explanation. Like, they, they kind of, they have like a lot of highs and lows. All right. Sometimes they feel very motivated. Sometimes they feel, and then when they get into that low period, they just don't, they, they just don't even care. They just are like, you know what, whatever. I don't care anymore. I'm just going to stay where I'm at. So so I'm use a water sign, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have, yeah, we have, what did I just say? It's like very on and off, very wishy-washy energy, very, that's what I was saying. That's why that Knight of Wands come out. You're dealing with a very fickle, wishy-washy energy, all right? On and off, roller coaster, good and bad, inconsistent, unpredictable, and clashing desires. We have protection. Protect your energy and guard yourself against the people and things that drain you. Security guard, vulnerable. We have cleanup. Owning the mess to clean up, healthy choices, prioritizing positive life changes, accountability, releasing burdens. We have memories, replaying sweet past memories. Yeah, that keeps coming out. I just feel like this person starts also like feeling a little bit nostalgic. I feel like whatever this other situation is, there's history there. Um, it's comfortable. 
Um, but it says, I do feel like they do <sighs> miss you. I do feel like they do have a lot of regrets when it comes to you. We have nostalgia, longing, regret, holding on to the past, the past coming back. We have manifesting. Coming in very soon. The wait is over in the worst. Allowing conscious thinking, dreams into reality, revelation. We have cut out here. It's best to part ways to heal, severing ties, endings, moved on, abandonment, calling it quits, closed chapter, walked away. The situation can't be forced. Bad timing, patience, not ready, waiting for the right time, out of your control. Yeah, I told you, a lot of obstacles. It will not be an easy path. It's just not going to be easy with this person. If you guys choose to keep engaging with them, just because of who they are, for some for some, it's just, this is who they are, guys. Like, it will not be an easy path. Blocks, setbacks, delays, big problems, hardship, trouble, a lot of work, burdens, and mistakes. We have helpful change. This may be the kind of person that they literally need to be on medication, you know? And until they choose to get help or until they choose to get on medication or whatever, you know, I don't know. It says you will navigate through change successfully by allowing the universe to assist you when you need it most. Assistance, ease, and facilitating. We have online. So you may hear from this person online or... It says looking for love online, online connection, email message, online dating, networking, searching and spying online. We have ascension. You're shifting from one reality to a higher vibrational reality. Time to sort of new heights, thriving, increase and take off. We have small steps, the small wins, the small triumphs, the everyday victories. Celebrate them. They will take you there. Slow and steady, careful actions. We have drama here. Emotions are running high. Arguments, conflict, fallout, opposing views, toxic energy, competition, unnecessary issues. So what's most important for um, Taurus to know here? We have breakthrough. A significant breakthrough is near. Whatever you're going through is preparing you for this big break. Discovery, progress, and big boost. We have aligned. Aligned with your higher self. Harmony, balance, awareness, divine connection, insight, soul expansion, and spiritual growth. We have good luck. So we do have good things are manifesting, blessed connection, fortune, lucky break, good opportunity, great chance, joyful occasion. Um, so what does that mean for this person that's coming through for the in this reading? Okay. Triggers. I just feel like spirit is saying you're going to hear from this person. Okay. Um, you're going to hear from them. Um, but you're going to have, you know, you guys ultimately have free will. You have a decision that you're going to have to make. They're in that, they're in that energy where they're going to want to make things work with you. They're going to want to make things right with you. They're going to say that they want to put the hard work into making a relationship work with you. They're going to want to make some changes. They're going to want to do things differently than they did them before. All right. But I will have to say, I have to tell you guys, and yes, you definitely are going to receive this communication from them. All right. But because of who this person is, this is who they are, guys. They've shown you who they are. But you know that quote? When people show you who they are, believe them. There's something about this person where it's like, they, it's just, this is just who they are. They, they have a, a mental health issue. Like they, this is just, I don't know, but there's a high risk of repeating the same cycle with this person. Like they haven't changed. And it says a challenging connection. Like it's going to be not easy with this person. It says a challenging connection, lessons, unhealthy, pushing, karmic relationship, chaotic, provoked, unbalanced, and fleeting. Like things may be good with this person for a little while, but it's going to go back. This person is going to go back into that low, low period again. Like they're going to, they're going to make things may be good with them for a little while, but then they're going to go back into that same um, fickle energy again. So you're going to have to decide if you're going to, if you want to repeat that cycle with this person again, because it's going to go back into that again. So spirit says, before you jump into something with this person, pause and reflect. All right, pause and reflect. Think about, you know, whether or not, yes, you may desire this person, right? Because it says, you know, it says a lot of desire, but too risky. It may be hard to resist this person, but this person maybe just needs, they still have a lot of growing to do for some of you. It says, we'll take some time to grow. Outdated beliefs, old fashioned conditioning, or playing events, older traditional dating. So we do have justice here. So I just feel like you guys will have to like, you have a decision to make. Okay. Um, I don't know. So I feel like you guys are going to be presented with an opportunity to embark on a new journey or, you know, go down that same path with this person. Cause it's going to be a repeat cycle. Yes. Things are going to be 
um good yes they are coming in with this apology but we do have starting a new chapter in love so some of you guys are maybe going to be choosing to go embark on a new journey it looks like and um we have good choices expect a positive outcome from the good choices you have made in the past give me a clarifier on that good choices yeah we have a fresh start here it says this new chapter will require you to take a leap of faith in the process which is in front of you and it does say new possibilities and new beginnings so some of you guys may be making that because we did have get off the ride so some of you guys it looks like are making that decision to not you know take a chance on this person this time you know you're maybe making the decision to go in a down a different path this time because you guys are like you know what i've already i've already seen the outcome of you know what it, what it's like you know um engaging with this person i already know what it's like what the what it what it turns out like dealing with this person so yeah because we do have exploring options here it says explore new opportunities and look at other options that you may not have noticed before choice opportunities and refocus so maybe you making this decision to go down a different path is also giving this person the time and the space to grow and heal because we do have healing here as well healing emotional wounds recovering repairing improving shadow work deep healing getting over something it's giving them the time to work on their mental whatever it is that's causing this repeating cycle between you and this person it's giving them at least the opportunity to work on those things now they have free will as well they can um choose to not change and that's why you know spirit is giving you also the opportunity to, to go in a different direction because you also deserve to have happiness in the relationship that you desire even if this person chooses to not change right um and you guys if just for some of you you've already made the decision to go in a different direction you guys are like oh well i haven't met that person yet not, not much is happening and just things are just kind of like boring and nothing nothing's happening why haven't i met that person yet i've already made that decision to walk away from them and just nothing's happening but spirit says we have prelude so it says you may not you may feel not much is happening However, the path you're on now is leading you to something great. So if you've already made that, you know, went down that path away from this person, spirit says you're on the path to something great. You're laying the groundwork. This is the first step towards, you know, you leading, leading you to um, something better. Okay. So I don't really feel like I need to extend this reading. Um, well, let me pull a card to see what is coming in for you now that you have made that decision to walk away from this person. What is coming in for you now that you have made that decision to walk away from this person or go down that other path? I just saw healing. So not only are, you know, do they have the opportunity to heal, you do as well. We do have jackpot here. So it says, at last, you'll feel like you have it all, love, success, money, and feeling proud of yourself. You'll finally achieve the everlasting, happy ending you dreamed of. So I definitely feel like you guys have made the right decision by walking away from this person or going down um, a different path. Let's see what else. We have action. So yeah, the action you've taken to go down that different path. It says no more overthinking. You're breaking the cycle of inaction and finally getting, look at this, and finally getting something done. You will set your plans in motion and realize action is the only way to move forward in life. And you guys definitely have some type of relationship. Come look at this, guys. Your love life will begin to blossom by taking those first steps towards intimacy and allowing your connection to gradually develop into something steady and consistent without rushing into love. And we have new love. Your love life is about to take off. A new romantic offer, even several offers are coming your way. Don't let the past hold you back. Embrace the newness. Okay. So like I said, I'm not, I don't feel the need to extend this one. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. I hope that this did resonate with you. Thank you for, um, what was I going to say? There's something else. Oh, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you could take something from this. Private reading information can be found in the comment section. If you're interested in purchasing some authentic gemstone jewelry and also open to save the sea otters, you can find information about that in the description box as well as the coupon code. Um, and don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok for more collective readings. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.